My name is Jasleen Mendoza. I'm from Generation Justice. Today, I would like to share my story of my father. Over the past 12 years, he's been locked up in prison, and I haven't had the opportunity to talk to him as often as I wished I could. My name is Kevin Reese III. I'm 12 years old, and my dad, he in jail. Lionel Lakes. I talk to my dad almost every day. I don't know how he does it because the phone calls are really expensive. I don't know how he does that. I don't know how he pays for the phone call, but he does it. If he calls, he calls at least once a month, and it's only 15 minutes. And the chances I get to talk to him is at least five minutes or less. He's been locked up for 12 years, meaning that I've only talked to him 12 hours. Well, his phone calls do mean a lot to me, yeah. We talk about a lot. How to get girls, how to lift weights, play basketball, a lot of stuff. The last few words I say is, Daddy, I love you. I miss you. And it's hard to say goodbye. Sometimes I don't want to catch to say goodbye because it hangs up on me. I lost the bonding that me, me and him had as a young girl. Obviously, I'm not the same girl that he left behind. The thing that kept me from having a relationship with most of my family members was the expense of the phone calls. I had talked to my aunts regularly for years, and then one day I called and the number was blocked. The reason why she blocked the phone call is because she knew that if I called, my cousin would answer. If I called, called twice, now that's double the expense, call three times, that's triple the expense. And because she couldn't pay for it, she had to make the conscientious decision to cut herself off and cut that part of my family off from me. They charge you right away, and you, he has to be wise when to call, because sometimes we miss a call, and there goes this month of calling. Most people couldn't afford to pay for the calls, and it's painful, because you spend that eight and a half years in prison, and, and you come home, or, or I came home, and realized that I just didn't have the kind of relationship that I might have had with many of my family members. I was locked up in prison 300 miles away from where I lived, and people just couldn't afford to accept my phone calls. If I wasn't able to talk to him, I wouldn't know my dad. Everyone should have a dad, and it's always good to know he's one phone call away. I miss him, and I love him, in that I'll stand up for him and be his voice. When I'm able to stay in touch with my dad. Um, life, it'll be better, it'll be better. Just knowing I can talk to him every day. And I have to wait on the call, I know he's gonna call.